donor corneoscleral button is prepared with the endothelial side up. 30 gauge needle filled with air is injected in a superficial plane between pre desmets layer and the stroma. Air is slowly injected till type 1 big bubble is formed. Air is continuously injected till the desired size of the big bubble is formed without allowing it to break. Eight millimeter trifining is done. Trepan blue is used to stain the desmets membrane. Knife entry is made to allow the scissors to dissect the donor button in total without tearing it. Retaining pre desmets or the duas layer allows a complete dissection due to the added thickness to the graft. The graft is then stored in MK medium. This is a case of pseudophagic bullous keratopathy posted for PTEC. Edematous epithelium is removed for better visualization. Cornea is marked with the trifine. Knife entry is made into the anterior chamber and trifan blue is injected into the anterior chamber to stain the desmets membrane. Excess trifan blue is then washed from the anterior chamber. The blue stained desmets membrane is then scored using reverse Sinsky hook. The hook is used to detach the desmets all around the cornea. Once it is detached from the peripheral cornea, it is then carefully rolled onto the pupillary plane. Totality of removal of the desmets membrane from the recipient is very vital for the perfect adhesion of the donor button to the recipient bed. The cartridge is then prepared for loading the donor graft. The spring in the cartridge is removed to secure the graft in the cartridge and the sponge tip is then replaced. The graft is then loaded into the cartridge. A drop of MK medium eases the loading of the graft into the cartridge. The graft is then injected into the anterior chamber with the right side up which is the rolled up margins of the graft towards the cornea. The wound is sutured to avoid accidental slipping out of the graft. The graft is unrolled using saline in a cannula. The saline is injected slowly between the recipient and the graft so that the graft is unrolled smoothly. Stroking the cornea from above over the graft also helps unrolling the rolled up margins of the desmets membrane. Air is then injected into the anterior chamber for firm adhesion of the graft onto the desmets bed recipient cornea. Handheld endoeliminator offers better visualization. Graft attachment is ensured by examining the cornea using the handheld endoeliminator.